Hello, people of Earth. Welcome back to another video. Um, you've probably seen this lovely face before mm -hmm. in a video. This is Griffin, my baby. Mm -hmm. And uh, we decided that he's going to be in more videos with me. Yes, I am. <laughs> and we decided we wanted to do a video today, um, if you haven't read the title, of Taste Testing South African Snacks. So I got this box called The Snack Corner. And there is sort of like a subscription box thing on Amazon. I'm just trying it out once. I didn't actually get the full thing to try this out. And this is the one that I got. So we're going to be opening it up. And we're just going to be tasting them and seeing how they work. We already and, tried one out yesterday. Yeah, we tried one yesterday. I didn't like it. I, You were clear on if you liked it or not. Well, we're gonna, I have to taste it again today because apparently there's two in there and I just ate that one yesterday. So let's get right started into the video. Alright, what are we doing first? Which one do you want to do first? What do you first pick? Mmm. Interesting. This one. That one? Okay. Introduce what does it say? It says, this is an X from Nestle. If y'all can see it, it's probably not too close enough. Yeah. There we go. I, 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 I don't know what it is. We're about to find out. It has milk chocolate confection with arrow center and filled biscuit wafer. Just keeping off the side here. So if you are from America, you might know these things as like being you know, like um, wafers with like the, the yellow, the strawberry, and the chocolate. And I don't know what they're called technically. I don't either. But that's what we think this is. But we're not sure. See, that doesn't look like one of those. Well, it's kind of. With chocolate cover. Kind of. Do you uh, need? Oh, you oh that was a clean break. As there's chocolate over the counter now. You know something? Are we doing a ten out of ten? Mm -hmm. Um. This is solid eight and a half out of ten for me. Very dry. Mine wasn't. I didn't think it was dry. Do you not like it? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. I will be the garbage disposal for today's interview, or not interview, video. Jeez, my brain. <laughs> On for round two. I figured we would keep it in the same thing. By the way, you didn't write the first one. Well, I, I think it's like a three out of ten. So maybe it doesn't really like the dryness of it. I think the next we should go with is usually when we do candy videos, we do it where it's like um, all the chocolate ones go first and then the fruity ones just so you don't get them mixed up. So I'm thinking we do these ones next. Uh, I can't. These, I don't even know how to say it. Ole. Ole. This, this one? This, this is a Oma. A Oma? Are Oma. Same thing? Yeah, Oma. This is like, Oma is a term for uh, grandma in Greece. And this should be interesting. This is what it looks like it's in the packaging. And it kind of looks like, it says buttermilk rust rice. I'm guessing it's some like, it looks like a biscuit almost. Nugget biscuit, nugget and a biscuit, nugget biscuit, nugget and a biscuit. This looks like those biscotti things? Biscotti? Yeah, the thing they use for like coffee. Coffee, yeah, yeah. It take my. Mine doesn't taste like anything. Maybe milk or two? Do you want to try it with some milk? Yeah. And yeah, I yeah. am. Alright, well, we've decided to try these with milk because the first time was kind of bad. It and honestly just tastes like dreaded bread, so I wanted to see maybe if it would happen. We just dip them in. Mm-mm. It did not make it better. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, I'm gonna use 
Yeah, I give it one. I give it one. This one's higher than this one. This is one. Do you want to stay on the same route? Do you want to go back to chocolate? Yeah, because that was just bad. What about a chumo? I don't think this is chumo. I think this is chumo. Oh, chumo. There's a wafer, but it's not chumo. Yeah, it's 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 chumo. This is what this one looks like. This one's from Cadbury. They have Cadbury in South Africa? I guess so. Shoot. I mean, if they have Nestle. I mean, it makes... Oh, wow. I think... Ooh. You know what I think I'm going to enjoy, personally? We're but we'll... I understand that, but I think I'm going to enjoy this one. Now, I don't know, and wait to see my reaction later in this video. You need help? Yeah. Looks like this. Looks like a turd. Ooh, you hear that? That was a clean break again. Good job, man. Should I? What about me? Oh my. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. That one's good. Well, mm -hmm. I don't actually didn't finish that one. Mm-hmm. I like that. There's more like of a flavoring on the outside than there is of the like wafer. That's the thing on the inside. I would think that goes like a little bit here. Yeah, that's a like a kind of one. Yeah, that's a salt. Although there is something weird in the after to me. Yeah. To me, there's something a little bit weird. Don't you agree? Just a little bit, yeah. All right, which way you want to go next, baby? I think. Mm -hmm. Let's stay, let's go back a little bit. We're gonna, oh, that's, that's one, that's two. We're gonna do these ones. So, what are those? This is eat some more. Get it? Eat, eat some, some more, more, I don't know. Mini shortcake biscuits. It's almost like, um, I would say like, uh, either animal crackers, and, like little graham crackers, and you know, or teddy graham. Oh. Mrs. Inkers. Mm. Not bad. Shall we? Mm. It looks like this because the oh. just wants to, to eat it. Well, they're not here to see what it looks like. They're here to see what it tastes like. Well. These are good. See, I, I, I would put that at a solid five. Personally, there's not a lot of flavor to that. There, there it's, but it's the ten, and then this is gonna be sound of weird, but the like the way it's made, like how it just melts in your mouth, that's nice. Does that make it a little bit? Yeah. All right, so we kind of cheated on this next one. This is a, um, hold on, let me get the angle right. It's a bar, it's a bar one. Bar one, it's, because there was two of them in there. We tried it yesterday. We were both kind of eh. We kind of wanted, what it says on here, it says energy for a 24, 25 hour day. And we were kind of like feeling like we wanted some energy. So. It didn't work on the energy portion. So this is what it looks like. It basically looks like all the other chocolate ones. Did you like it when you first ate it? Yeah, 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 I did. 
This kind of, I'm not a fan of raisins, and this to me has a raisiny aftertaste to it. In in our sense, what did we say it kind of tastes like? Like a uh, like a like a three musketeers, but with more like raisiny kind of nougat. For me, it would be about the text. See, I mean, I got it. Well, the, this is the, the text is the best. I'm gonna eat the second one later. Yeah, we have one more chocolate one. Well, that one's chocolate too. Is it? Yes, it's, it's Smarties. Smarties? But they're fruity. Mm -mm. Yeah. So this is Cadbury again. This is the one that he wanted to do that you heard him do. Yeah. Really two seconds ago say. This is called the lunch bar. I'm and curious. it has milk chocolate crammed with wafer biscuit, caramel, peanuts, and crisp rice. I think I'm gonna like that. What does this remind you of? The chocolate covered payday is what's combined. Did you hear that? The break of it? Yeah. Yeah. No, this so also kind of reminds me of the crunch bar. Oh, wow. Okay, this is the best one out of the bunch. In my opinion, this is a this is an eleven out of ten for me. Found this at the bottom, and if you don't know what this is, what is this? That's the South African flag. I'm not down. South African flag and keychain. I think this is really cool. I think if you were to do more boxes like this, there would be other flags, and you could collect these. We could, babe. Hmm. We could have a series on this YouTube channel called Griff and Hannah Eat the World. <laughs> okay, last, last of the chocolate ones. We still got gummies and chips to go there. Yeah, and I'm curious. So, My mouth is full of chocolate right now, so I'm these curious. These are Smarties. And they're not our Smarties. These are not American Smarties. These are like the Smarties that the rest of the world knows as like... They're, I want to say, are these like ripped off? I mean, I'm just like, I, I, I don't, I don't know. Do you know anybody from not from the world? I mean, I know Rogers. I've but... seen so many videos of these, and they do, do people like... seem to like them? What, oh in yeah. The videos you watch? Oh, these are ripped off. <laughs> yeah, they're basically like M&M's. Not a fan either. I mean, they're interesting. Mm -mm. I was not a fan of that one. I'm giving that one a solid three out of ten. That was not good. Do you want it below or above this? Below it. Those were not good. So the next ones that we're going to do is like the um, jelly, like fruity, fruity kind of candies. You don't ever want to mix those up when you're trying these out. You want to do the chips first? You want to do chips first? As I was just talking about how we were going to do the free ones. Well, I don't know. You want to do the gummies first? Yeah. Let's uh, do the gummies first. Well, why are you trying to give me the bags? Then we're going to do the gummy ones first. Because this is gummy ones. No, it's not. Those chips. Oh. Let's do this one. This is called Jelly Tots, which is smooth white chocolate with original jelly tots inside. So I want to think this is like white chocolate with like, I want to think. Jelly beans. Or gumdrops, maybe. You know what dots are? Yes. I was thinking maybe that. Maybe. Maybe. Well, one thing I do know, you're about to find out. 
And it's white chocolate. Well, some people call me white chocolate. I, uh, what? I can say what I want to, it's the internet thing. Great. Does it say it has jelly in it? Yeah, the jelly pot. We'll break off another piece and see. I did. Mine had one in there. Yeah, did it give it a different flavor? No. It didn't really it, get it's, it. Yeah, it's just overpowering white chocolate flavor. I was say that all I was doing was basically eating white chocolate. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't hate that. I'm a fan of white chocolate, but for what it is, you're just eating straight white chocolate. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing, nothing, brain, 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 brain. I'm thinking right here. I'm a really big fan of it. You're, you're, you're a really big fan of it or not really? No, not really. You're going to want to grab the other one too because I can't do it. Well, I'm not gonna. Right, because it's strawberry. Okay. That Next means you thing. can't have the. That means we can't have the sucker. No, it's cherry flavored. Oh. Um. So there's these things. That was literally under the exact same brand that we just had called Fizzers. Yep. And you know what this is? This is. <coughs> And I'm just guessing, but just by the weight of it and how it feels, I'm guessing this is South African Lacky Taffy. Oh, maybe. I got the cream soda flavored one in green. Yeah, I got the strawberry one because you can't eat it. Well, actually, let's just try half, break that in half. Or cream soda one. Cream soda is my uh, favorite soda of all time. I don't even know. That's kind of sweet. Yeah, that that is that is Laffy Taffy. If I've ever seen a thing of Laffy Taffy in my life, which look at me, people, I have. That is straight Laffy Taffy. Yeah, because Laffy Taffy gets stuck to the yep. pepper laces. Yep. Well, South Africa. Nice job for ripping off the you good old USA. Good choice. I'm gonna mess this this taffy up. Or it's gonna mess you up. There you go. I gave you a bigger piece. I I don't know. Give it a second to sit there. I don't mind it. It's not getting better. It, it, it's green apple flavored. I don't know why it says cream soda. This does not taste like cream soda. This is green apple. Is it not? Well, I don't like, I don't like that. The only thing I liked about it was the texture. See, I did, again, for me, what differences between it? For me, that's a solid six. Yeah. That's a solid six, yeah. And they come in strawberry flavor too. I don't know how many flavors there are of them, but I can't have strawberry so I'm allergic to them. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for these ones. These are gummy lifesavers, basically, from the look of them. They're Maynard's Original Wine Gums. Which, again, if you look at the package, and if you're from, 
the good old U.S. of A. You'll know these little candies. I'm guessing there's different flavors. Is there different colors? Or are they all the same flavor? They just use color for fun. I, for fun. Hmm. Different color. Different color. Oh. What's with all these blank, bland candies? Like, I was thinking for when you were doing it. Oh, never mind. Yeah. You didn't bite into it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. If there's any South African people out there watching this video, I have a question for you. What is with your country and delayed reaction candies? <laughs> it's a very interesting concept and it's very creative and I think it can be good but can be bad at the same time. I'm going to take the green one. These ones had like an interesting taste to them. But I couldn't put a finger on it if it was a good taste or not. Because I want to say it was like a grape flavor on this and I don't... I'm not personally a fan of grape flavored stuff, so. I like these. I think these are okay. I would rather have lifesavers. I think I would put more up here. You put, if you put that over the next part, you're crazy. Well, in, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this lineup doesn't really affect why me. Did, why, why didn't you finish this? Because I, it was a really big piece. So. I'm a fat boy. I'm... Usually when I do these videos with my sister, and you guys have seen all the candy videos, I would hope. If you haven't, I will have the link for that one listed down below. You can watch all the candy videos from the beginning to the end of me and my sister trying them out. Usually what happens is we barely eat any of the candy. We just try a little bit of it, and then at the end, we uh, divvy up who gets to keep what and what it gets the wrong way. For him and me, it seems that we won't have to do that because half of them are already gone already. Yeah. Let's get this one here. Yeah. Where are we going with now? There's only these squares, right? And the chippy. <laughs> so you can do the narrow yeah. But you... then you gotta do these tiny ones. Starburst? I don't know what they are. Oh no, those are starters. Okay, so this one is called the original champion. The big taste that lasts. Now, oh, this is not <laughs> This is not an outlier. This is toffee. <laughs> oh, hold on, I'll have one. They came with three of them. I didn't realize it that this was toffee because these in America, if you look at these you and you didn't read it, you would think this is a now and later. But no, this is toffee, which I didn't know. Oh, we gotta see. Ooh. What? Hmm. Mine's not peeling. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Mm. It tastes like it took me a whole lot of time in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Not the kind of coffee that I remember, but it's still good. It's all right. 6.5. I know what it reminds me of. Mm. A bit of honey. Yes. Yeah. Like, that's almost the identical thing. You know, we might have to get my mom to try that screws for her favorite, one of her favorite things is a bit of honey. All right, you ready for the last one? For the last of the... Candy, one. yeah. So 
So there's these yellow ones. And it's really hard to read because the wrappers are so small. But I'm pretty sure it says Chappie's Fruits. They're basically South African Starburst. I'm assuming because of the packaging and the way it looks and how tiny it is. That's a Starburst, babe. Okay, people out there in the world. What is this? It's a Starburst. I was going to say wrong answers only. By the way, if you do, wrong answers only. And there's facts on the inside. It says, did you know 532 South Africa has 11 official languages, more than any other country? That, that is not a Starburst. Did you know South Africa is the first country in Africa to host cricket, rugby, and soccer World Cups? I don't... It's dumb. Did you know that South Africa is the world's biggest producer in gold, platinum, chrome, magnesium, oh. and aluminum? No. Oh. I didn't even try it yet. I was just reading the facts up. Apparently there's facts on the back of these. Oh. <laughs> it's gum, babe. It's gum? It's gum. Well, let me just taste it. You can read off because there's different things on mine. Here. You can read off the facts off of this if you can read them. I don't want to read facts off of it. Yeah, there's like four different ones on here. Oh. Why do you want to know? Because. Oh, I'm buffing my mom in my childhood. It's, it's too, it's too small for me to read. What, you like that? Yeah, that's not gum though. Yeah, it is. Mm -mm. Where is it? I don't think it's gum though. Maybe it is up here too, a little bit. So we got two left and they're the chip ones. Well, we did get suckers in them and if you know me, usually we don't do the suckers on camera because they would take forever. Well, these are called the Fizz Pops. One got in cherry flavor and the other one in apple flavor. And I'm assuming what you said, what did you say about these? That they're South African blow pops. I mean, look at the way they're wrapped. Come on. So again, South Africa, I love you, but be original, or at least try. I can't even write these, because I don't know what they taste like. But we're getting into the last two things, you want to read it off? This is, is this is it, Willard's Original Flavored Maze? Yeah. Maze, like corn. So these are called flames. And by the feeling of them, they feel like Cheeto Puffs. Yeah. Yeah, but they're probably gonna be like white or yellow. Oh. What? If, without looking at it, you're just smell it. Oh no. Oh man. Oh no. They look like this, they look like Cheeto Puffs. They're like unflavored Cheeto Puffs. No, they don't taste bad. No, they don't taste bad. They smell bad. They, they don't. They don't taste like anything. Honestly, they taste like mm -hmm. the white cheddar Cheeto. I would think this would be like a Cheeto without the cheese. Um, but I think these are really good though. They're buttery. Mm, I like them. Mm. Okay, the last one that we have here for the box, and if you save through the whole thing, thank you guys so much for watching us. Yeah, this is fun doing this. This is Simba's Roars with Mrs. H.S. Ball's Chung Mi flavor. Chung Mi? No, I'm just trying to read it correctly. I don't know how to say it though. But this is apparently potato chips. Open it. Open it. Open it. Chutney. Oh. 
Oh, man, I'll take it all the You just put it in front of your chest. Immediate rejection? I'm not eating those. And no way. Why? Because those remind me of like barbecue chips. You know who loves barbecue chips? Me and the earth. Darn right, I do. You like it? Oh my god. He's gonna sit there and probably eat the whole bag as he's not on camera anymore. Oh my god, this is so good. This is 12 out of 10. Alright, did you guys like this video? I really hope that you did. I hope you enjoyed seeing this beautiful face. He's gonna be in more videos, as you can tell. If you guys like the way that we do these videos, uh, make sure you give it a like down below so that we can continue doing this. We might do more of these because he seems to enjoy them a lot. Yeah. Welcome to episode one of Griffin and Hannah Eat the World. <laughs> uh, you should go like, subscribe down below if you would like to see more videos and turn on that notification bell for whenever I'm not being lazy. And we will see you guys again in another video. Bye. Bye.